Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. At least I think it's Wednesday. Having Monday off is confusing. And time is confusing these days anyway. <laughs> so I'm just doing a regular Wednesday ramble today. For the past couple weeks I've been doing a lunchtime live stream on Wednesdays, which was just to test out some, some uh, software and hardware changes that I'm making. I was going to do that again today because I want to try it one more time, but I just didn't have time to get it all set up. Um, but maybe next Wednesday. Keep an eye open. You might see a, a notification come out on Wednesday morning, and if so, it's a lot of fun. Uh, join us. Smoking basket billiard, and I just got the first light on this, so I got to tamp it and relight. But this is. Uh, Five Brothers, and but I haven't had this in a couple years, and I was really craving it. And uh, the, you know, the past couple weeks, I guess. So this arrived this morning about 11 o'clock. It's about two o'clock now, and this is my third bowl. So that'll give you some idea of how much I've been enjoying it. Haven't smoked anything but since it arrived. So I want to do some show and tell today. Got some, got some cool stuff uh, from from a couple of folks. And I'll show you. I'll, I'll talk about that. Oh, wrong shoulder. That thing back there in a minute. So I got an email from. Uh, our good friend Mel, Mr. Garbage Man Piper. And Mel said, send me your address, I'll send you some stickers. And I thought, hey, I like stickers. So, <laughs> sure enough, Mel sent me some of these beautiful Garbage Man Piper stickers. I got two of them. Very nice. Very nice card. Uh, thank you, Mel. I really appreciate that. And I'll be, I'll be sticking those up. I wish I had stickers to send back, but I do not have stickers. But what I did do is I was able to rope Mel into appearing on one of our Friday night live streams. So he's uh, scheduled sometime in the next month or so. I, I think he might be the first one in October. Uh, you can check the schedule if you want. But Mel's a Mel's a character, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to to having him on the on the conversations with pipe smokers. That will be uh, quite a bit of fun. The other thing that uh, came in the mail was, was really a complete and total surprise to me. Um, our friend Tony, and darn it, Tony, I did not check your YouTube name before I started this. Did you put it on the... Hang on. Maybe I got it here. little note here that yes Tony 513 well, Tony's a good good friend he always shows up for the live streams and we always have a lot of fun chatting and we've, we've emailed uh, good guy so this package came from him and I had no idea what it was I, I wasn't expecting it and what he sent me was this fine drawing that he did of me. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> he, on the back is the screenshot that he used to, uh, to, to draw it. And there I am. Now, granted, it's not my best side <laughs> in the front. <laughs> but I just love it. it, it's, uh, it, it and if, if you compare back and forth between the picture and the drawing, he really nailed a lot of the details and uh, you know a lot of the, the characteristics. I mean, I, I won't call it a character because it's uh, it's much much better, uh, but it's it it I love it. So this is going to get framed and hung up in the in the shop. Uh, I just have to get a frame for it. So thank you, Tony. This made my uh, my week. <laughs> no question about it.
Uh, other things that got, that came in the mail, other than five brothers and, and the things I showed you, uh, I I purchased that thing that you see behind me, and I can never figure out which way to move when I'm when I'm looking at the camera. So what this is, it's a little bit hard for you to see, but um, right here is a plexiglass hood that completely surrounds the. Uh, the vise, and that is the vise that I use when I'm sanding and shaping stems. And if you recall, I mentioned uh, at some point that I had was developing uh, what I believe is an allergic reaction, or at least a sensitization to the acrylic dust. So I bought a respirator, and I wear the respirator when I'm doing doing any power sanding because uh, that generates a lot of dust. Plus, I've got a shop vac hooked up to collect the dust and all. I've, I've, I've got that pretty well handled. Um, but I discovered that just sitting here sanding the, the acrylic creates enough dust that it affects me. And while I can wear the respirator, eh, the sanding and, and shaping the stem is when I, you know, that, that's a really relaxing thing for me and I get to drink coffee and smoke a pipe and all and I can't do that with a respirator on. So I invested in this. It's, it's, a, it's a grizzly unit. It's got two fans. Uh, it does a wonderful job of pulling the dust away as soon as it's created. And it all gets stuck in that, what you're seeing, that white thing is the filter. And uh, you just pop that filter out and put a new one in, and you're, you're ready to go. So, so, so far, I have not tried it on an acrylic stem yet. I'm looking forward to doing that, but I just happen to have a, a, a string of ebonite stems that I need to work on right now. But I think that was money well invested. Uh, and I'll, I'll use it on the ebonite. I'll use it even when I'm just sanding briar because uh, I don't need to have dust in your lungs. Um, and it's surprising to me how much I must be inhaling. Uh, you know, you don't feel it, but it's there. Uh, and it's very fine dust when you're sanding. It creates very fine dust. you got to be careful about that. It can be a significant health issue. So, anyway, that's uh, that's something new that I, that I bought. And I'll show you one more sort of shop thing. Let me, let me just tamp here. By the way, if you try Five Brothers, Five Brothers is fantastic. It's just this Really good, solid burly. I love it, but it's very, very fine shag cut. Let me show you that. So this is what the tobacco looks like. Really, really fine. So you have to pack this really hard. You know, pack it like like you would never pack another blend. You know, it's really push it down. And if you do that and you smoke it slowly it will reward you with a wonderful, wonderful burly experience. If you don't like burly, don't buy it. If you don't want to take your time and try to understand how to smoke the blend, don't buy it. But if you're interested in a little bit of a challenge and a really wonderful burly smoke, I highly recommend Five Brothers. So, this is a pipe I've been working on for a while now. Um, I'm starting to call it the pipe from hell. Because, I mean, it's a beautiful pipe. Um, I don't actually remember. I think it's a... Hang on, let me see. Yeah, it's a Sabinelli 802. Um, really nice. And it had a crack shank. So, the owner wanted a gold band and... I got a gold band, and I, I put a gold band on this, and I put a stem on it, and I was ready to, I, I, all I had to do was buff it, take a picture of it, send it to him, and say, your pipe's done. And to my horror, when I buffed it, the band, the band was as gold as that, and just with, with mild buffing, turned silver. So, the problem is this is a nickel silver band that is plated with gold, and boy, that plating is thin, and it just, it buffed right off, uh, and, you know, I, I just couldn't, obviously could not send them that, uh, so I had to replace it, and I was not going to replace it with the same band, because he's going to eventually want to get his pipe buffed, and, you know, I'm not going to not going to use that if uh, if it means the first time you get your pipe buffed you lose the gold on your your band. So 
I went and I found uh, Tim West, who always uh, comes through when I need a, a part that's hard to find. He found me a gold filled band. So the gold filled bands, the, the gold is actually somehow sunk into the metal, uh, the underlying metal, so it's much more robust. And I was able to get that band off, which was not trivial because I don't put them on to, to come off. And I was able to put the new one on. The problem was the new band, keep in mind this was done, this was ready to go. <laughs> the new band is thinner than the old band. So everything had to be adjusted. So the, the pipe itself, the briar, was, was too far I mean, I don't mind a little bit of a ridge there, but it was just too much. So I had to do some, some sanding of the briar to bring that down to the band. And then I had to reshape the stem to, to fit the new. And as I was reshaping the stem, I do not know if you're going to be able to see this, but right in this area here, there's a tiny little white dot. That's an inclusion in the ebonite. And that is not going to go away. It's just going to get worse. Um, it's very, very close to the band, just right about that level and close to the center. So hopefully you can catch that. So, this stem now goes in the trash, and I get out another chunk of ebonite, and I start over. That happens rarely. Um, I get pretty good quality ebonite. Uh, I use uh, German uh, SEM for everything, and it's pretty rare that that happens, but it does happen, obviously. So, such is life. You know, you gotta, you can't, uh, and, and fortunately my customers are, are some of the most patient people you'll ever meet. So, I, I had to email this customer and say, I'm really sorry, but, and then I got a whole string of people that are waiting after him and I had to send them all emails this morning and explain the situation and uh, they're all very understanding. So, I'm, I'm really appreciative of that. Uh, I do get the work done eventually, <laughs> and, and you know things like this. I, I think demonstrate that you know I'm being really careful. I I could probably polish that up and send it out, but I won't do it because it might look okay. Uh, it might not even be noticeable, but after a couple of buffings, it may start to get bigger. It may actually. Uh, create a large crater in the stem, and I, I just don't want to do that to the guy. I want to give him the stem that he deserves, the stem that he's paying for, the stem that he wants. So, that's kind of been life in the shop. Not bad, just not moving as quickly as I thought, as I had hoped. This Friday, we have Larry Blackett from, uh, who is Buttons for Your Britches, the uh, pewter tamper guy. And I just got off the phone with Larry just before I started this video, and oh, we're going to have fun with him. <laughs> he's, he's a really interesting guy, very easy to talk to. It's going to be a great show. So please uh, try to join us uh, this Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. And you'll see the notification come out uh, either tonight or early tomorrow. And make sure you hit that notification bell because a lot of people have been saying they're not getting the notifications. Um, if you have to, take unhit it and then hit it again. Um, you might even try unsubscribing and resubscribing. Just don't forget to resubscribe. I had um, just to complain about YouTube for a minute. I said, I think it was last Friday, I said that, uh, you know, I somehow became unsubscribed to Mark in Rhode Island, which is bizarre because I, you know, I've been talking to Mark for years. I've been uh, trying to encourage Mark to make videos. I've always looked forward to his videos. To I would never unsubscribe to Mark. And uh, yet I was because uh, I heard that he had made a new video, which, by the way, check out Mark in Rhode Island, go see his video. Um, it was about the, uh, the matches Friday, 7 LA. Very nice video. So I had to resubscribe to him, and then uh, when I was making that squirrel video from, from Sunday, I knew that um, Full Dottle had made a video about squirrels, and I wanted to watch that, and I hadn't seen it come up, and you know, I realized, yeah, I haven't seen anything from Dallas in a while now, 
Sure enough, I was not subscribed to Full Dottle. And I know I subscribed to him. I, I, I just don't... It's weird. It's like YouTube is just randomly unsubscribing people. So, if you don't see someone for a while, be sure to check, because you might have been uh, unsubscribed. You know, just gotta, gotta keep up on that, unfortunately, because we, for whatever reason, can't rely on YouTube to, uh, to keep us in touch. Well, I wonder how many bowls of uh, Five Brothers I can smoke before I break down and switch over to Haunted Bookshop again. I find myself, I, I do have a bowl of Carter Hall most mornings, and by the time that bowl is done, I love it, I enjoy it, but I'm just thinking about the next bowl of Haunted Bookshop. But this has been, uh, I have not had that problem with Five Brothers. Well, folks, I don't want to keep you too long today. I've, uh, I've told you all the important things. Please join us Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you're going to really enjoy the, the chat with Larry Blackett. And beyond that, I'll certainly be doing a Sunday video this week. And like I said, I'll probably try to do a lunchtime live stream next Wednesday. And just to continue to bore you with my plans, the following Saturday... I will do a, um, a giveaway live stream, and I've got I've got something picked out for that that I think you're going to really like. So with that, my friends, enjoy your Wednesday, enjoy the rest of the week, and until we talk again, I will look forward to speaking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. <laughs>